Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Shannon and I love rocks and gemstones. And rock tumbling is one of my favorite hobbies and I love tumbling a different variety of gemstones. And today I'm going to show you how I tumbled moonstone. And in this video, I'll show you my entire process from rough to the polished finished product. And then at the end, I'll provide a timeline and the recipe that I used to get these results. So Moonstone is a gorgeous stone and there's two varieties. There's multicolored Moonstone and there's rainbow Moonstone. And today we are working with the multicolored Moonstone. So you'll see this was a white, kind of a beige Moonstone and this is a black moonstone. And I had red and, here's the red right here, red moonstone. And gray, beige, peach, a, a huge variety. Now, moonstone is really gorgeous because of the variety of colors, but it's also a really fragile stone. So it took some patience and the finished product usually is not as smooth as you can get with a jasper or an agate. It's really fragile and even just bouncing around in the ceramic media can cause these little chips. And this seems common because I've purchased commercially tumbled moonstone before and it always seems a little chippy, like it's always got little chips taken out of it and I wondered why. And through this experience today, I found out and I still highly recommend tumbling moonstone because it is just phenomenal watching the stones go from rough to, to finished and the different varieties of stones, of the different colors, the different patterns within the stones. And moonstone also has what's called as adularescence and that's a, a shimmery, um, flash when the light hits it. And a lot of these moonstone pieces had that. So it's really fascinating to watch these stones develop from week to week. And so if you're interested in how to tumble moonstone, then let's get started. Let me show you the rough. And today I'll be starting a batch of moonstone. And this is a feldspar and it's kind of like the Amazonite that I did before. And this is not rainbow moonstone, but this is the moonstone that comes in the like ivory and gray and peach varieties and should be really pretty. However, it looks like there's, there's lots of rough edges here and feldspars have like perfect cleavage in two directions. So they're apt to breaking but I've had luck with Amazonite in the past, so I'm hopeful for this, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it goes. Here is the Moonstone after one week in course, and judging by the looks of it, this is gonna need a fair bit in course. There is a lot to work down on some of these stones, but I do like the variety of colors in this moonstone. We've got the whitish, we've got peach, um, the, the really dark gray, like black moonstone, and then this kind of reddish. So this will be nice to see how it works down. And I'm enjoying the, the different pieces here, but yeah, this, this is going to need a little while, but off to a good start. This batch of Moonstone is looking really good after its second week in course. Just a quick peek through tells me that this will all need another week in course at least, but it's looking really good. It's a lot smoother than it was last week. And I'm still loving the variety of the colors in this moonstone. We've got peach, 
and red and black and gray. Oh, it looks so nice, but yeah, while they're nice and smooth, they've got a good shape. They've still got a lot of like ridges and crevices. It would be nice for those to be worked out before we go on to medium. Ooh, that one's pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, let's get this back in course. Here the Moonstone has finished a third week in course and it's looking better. However, I'm gonna have to check through all of the stones to see if they're really smooth enough to go on to medium grit or if they need a run in course. I don't know if this one is gonna make it all the way through. Given my recent experiences with things breaking up in the later stages, like this, this bit might come off here. So well, I'll put that one aside. But I mean, they're looking, they're looking really good. Look at, oh, look at that. Adularescence is what that's called from Moonstone. And are looking super pretty but as I said I'll check through all of these maybe medium grit will get out some of the um, final little scratches in this but I will check and see I'm leaning towards medium but I'm gonna be a little bit more cautious on this because moonstone can easily just break apart because of its cleavage so all right so last week, as I looked through all of the Moonstone, I decided to put it all through one more week, of course, just to be patient, just to make sure that everything looked as good as it was going to look before we moved on to medium. And yeah, everything's looking really nice. And so this week, for sure, I'm definitely moving this over to medium. And I mean, again, I just love when you are working with regular Moonstone as opposed to Rainbow Moonstone, the variety of colors that you get in a batch. It's beautiful. So I'm going to look through some of these because like this one looks like it's about to split apart right there. So I'm going to take out any other more fragile pieces set those aside and then move the rest on to medium. The Moonstone just finished a week in medium grit and it's feeling really smooth. It's looking really good. I do believe there are some pieces I'm going to have to take out because they're looking a little bit more fragile. But yeah, so far these are looking super nice. We've got some really good examples of all the different color types, like this red one is really nice, and this dark gray one, mmm, all right, well let me get these washed up really good and I'm going to move these to fine grit but I'm going to do the same as I did the gabbro and the labrador or the larvakite and do them for in fine for four days and in extra fine for three days because these are looking like they're a little more fragile than most so I don't want to beat them up any more than necessary but they're looking really lovely here is the Moonstone after four days in fine grit. And I checked on it because I just had this feeling that this was a little bit more fragile than the Amazonite, say. And I wanted to make sure that this didn't tumble too much and break up in the final stages. And it's looking good. There were a couple of that I removed because it looked like they might 
be a little dangerous that they were in risk of breaking. So now that I've got this all taken care of, I'm gonna give it a good wash, add some more filler media to this so that it's nice and cushioned, and then put this in extra fine and check on it in a couple of more days. This is the Moonstone, and it has finished some abbreviated runs in fine and extra fine. So it did um, four days in fine, and three days in extra fine. And now I'm gonna give it a good wash and head it over to polish. Like everything is looking fine. You know, we don't have any that are like huge risks for breaking. I've got a lot of ceramic media in here to give it a good cushion, but yeah, I think it's it's ready to go. Yeah, some really pretty pieces here. Ooh, that one actually broke apart. So I'm gonna do a double double check to make sure I don't have any fragile stones in there. And then I will wash it and get it into polish. And the Moonstone has been in polish for one week, so we'll give it a check. Give it a little rinse in some clean water and then dry it off so that we can see how much shine it's taken. And, hmm, nice. Um, let's see, let's getting into the light. Yeah, see, you can see that nice shine on this one. Except that my hands are a little bit wet still, so yeah. Nice. Okay. There's another one. Get it all dried off. Okay. So it has taken some really nice shine as well. The surfaces of these are, are pretty chipped up still, and that's pretty common for Moonstone. I mean, that it seems to be that way even for Moonstone that I've like purchased for myself that it's really hard it's very brit well it's hard to get a smooth finish on it because it's so brittle but it has taken a really nice shine so I'm gonna clean these pieces up and show you a variety of the different colors and their shine. Excellent. so much for joining me during this video about how to tumble moonstone and I hope you found it useful and I hope you're curious to pick up some moonstone and try to tumble it yourself because it's just a really pretty stone and here's an example of that adularescence here that flash 
So pretty. And if you're new to rock tumbling and just wanted to let you know that I have an online rock tumbling 101 course and the link to that will be in the description below. And whether you're new to tumbling or you're an experienced tumbler and you'd like to see me tumble a large variety of gemstones, then make sure to hit the subscribe button so you'll see whenever I post a new tumbling video. Thanks so much for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon.